analyzing Prime Minister Rama's lobbying against Kosovo, a complex dynamic. The relationship between Albania and Kosovo has long been characterized by shared history, culture, and ethnic ties. However, recent developments have shed light on Prime Minister Edi Rama's lobbying efforts against Kosovo, leaving many puzzled and concerned. In this article, we will delve into the intricacies of this complex dynamic, analyzing the possible motives behind Prime Minister Rama's actions. 1. Historical Context To understand the current situation, it is essential to consider the historical context. Albania and Kosovo share deep-rooted historical and cultural ties, particularly due to the Albanian majority population in Kosovo. However, political interests and territorial disputes have also influenced their relationship. Rama's lobbying against Kosovo cannot be viewed in isolation but must be examined within this broader framework. 2. Domestic Politics Prime Minister Rama's actions may be influenced by domestic political considerations. It is important to recognize that political leaders often pursue policies that align with their party's interests or electoral strategies. Rama's lobbying against Kosovo might be aimed at consolidating his domestic support base or capitalizing on nationalist sentiments within Albania. 3. Border and Territorial Disputes Territorial disputes and border issues have long plagued the Balkan region. Kosovar's declaration of independence from Serbia in 2008 remains a contentious issue, with Serbia and several other countries, including Russia and China, refusing to recognize Kosovar's statehood. Albania's stance on this matter may be influenced by various factors, including concerns over potential border changes or fears of setting a precedent for secessionist movements within its own borders. 4. Regional Power Dynamics Another aspect to consider is the broader regional power dynamics. Albania and Kosovo both aspire to join the European Union, and any actions taken by one country can impact the other's aspirations. Rama's lobbying against Kosovo may be an attempt to assert Albania's position as the dominant player in the region, positioning himself as a key mediator and influencer in Balkan affairs. 5. Economic Interests Economic considerations could also be at play in Rama's lobbying efforts. As neighboring countries, Albania and Kosovo share economic ties, including trade and investment. It is possible that Rama's actions are driven by economic competition or concerns about potential economic ramifications for Albania. However, further analysis and evidence are needed to ascertain this aspect definitively. Conclusion the reasons behind Prime Minister Rama's lobbying against Kosovo are multifaceted and complex, intertwining historical, political, territorial, and economic factors. It is crucial to approach this issue with nuance and consider the broader context of albania kosovo relations. While Rama's actions have raised eyebrows and generated concern, it is essential to foster dialogue and understanding to navigate these delicate dynamics effectively. The path towards a harmonious relationship between Albania and Kosovo lies in open communication, respect for sovereignty, and a shared commitment to stability and regional integration.